everyone, Mark Andre here from Autodesk. I'm with Ted from Red. Hey, Ted. Hi, Mark. How are you? Very good. Happy to see you again. Happy to see you here. As usual, we have a long history, you and I, <laughs> dancing around all this technology, don't we? You guys gave a really terrific demo in the uh, theater this morning. You've got some great footage, stereo footage in 5K, shot with, um, with the Epics, obviously. Epic X is shipping. Epic X has just started shipping. So far, we've been all Epic M's, our machined Epics that have been moving off the line. And those are, of course, you know, out in mass now. And effectively, every big movie in the world is using them with very limited exception. So that's a pretty good indication that we're doing something right, which is making a true high resolution tool that makes stellar images and all the workflow makes sense, post solutions make sense, uh, file delivery makes sense and uh, essentially this is the right tool to make these movies. So, and these are no small movies. I'm talking you know, gigantic movies like The Hobbit and Spider-Man and Ridley Scott's new Prometheus and the new Wizard of Oz and you, know, you name it. Moving on down the line, lots of big movies. And speaking of workflow, this morning you showed something really amazing which is a red rocket in a Sonnet Thunderbolt chassis. Yes. It's really in its kind of prototype form right now. So I'm just showing it in Red Cine, but of course this will work in, in many post solutions that run the Red Rocket, including a lot of the Autodesk solutions like Smoke. Um, so this is a, a product from Sonnet that will come out soon. It's an expansion chassis that holds a Red Rocket and it can hold also internal storage. They, they're even, doing an even smaller one than this. This is like the mid-sized one, believe it or not, it's pretty small. What you're looking at here, and there's a, there's a little, uh, let's see, um, Thunderbolt drive here too is replacing Firewire, which used to be considered fast, now that's dog slow, to something called Thunderbolt. So what used to take up a full cart with a big Mac tower and some big heavy storage and a lot of space, you know, you'd have to roll this thing around, is now in this world, and this is not the low res sort of, you know, downgraded version that we would have to play on a laptop, that's full rocket playback. And there's no hitching, there's no, you know, problem with this at all, it just does full screen, full quality playback. All these things now that if I only had a laptop might take me a long time to do, just with a laptop and this expansion chassis and some fast Thunderbolt storage, I can do at the same speed that I was doing on a big desktop machine, which I think is pretty powerful. And it is, and you know, we're really excited about this because it, this ties in with our whole MacBook Pro story. A MacBook Pro, Smoke 2012, the extension release, we're supporting HDRX now, so that's really nice with you. Yeah, Autodesk is one of those guys that we really like. You know, they're smart thinking guys. The Smoke system is well migrated. We see a lot of people, I live in LA and work out of Hollywood, we see a lot of people touching those tools and using those tools for uh, editorial through finishing. Um, and the fact that you guys adopt our rocket technology support our SDK system to function in the same matrix of actually using the raw files to move through a post workflow. It's pretty powerful stuff, so thanks for coming along for the ride. <laughs>